Okay, hi. So today we're going to basically show you how to sell your trading cards, what to look out for, and when you buy trading cards, what to look out for. Tips and tricks basically, like you want to sell at the highest point, you want to buy at the lowest point. Obviously, this is now something a game of patience. So, what you do is you go into inventory and you pick a card, obviously, that you need to sell, something that you're not going to use. I'm going to use one of these for example okay in my currency it's selling it that much what happens is you click on sell let it load and then you you can see okay cool the highest it's ever sold recently is at that price and then basically you would check out what is the lowest one so if you really want to just get rid of it you can put it on those amounts but you can always just see okay that is the highest amount you can also just zoom in on that and you can see okay lately it's been dropping this past day so it's been selling and then dropping and otherwise here i can see oh 120 in my currency of course is the standard price and it will sell so what you can do is what the buyer pays and which is this in the buyer page you can put there 120 now i'm making it just a tiny bit less just so it is more appealing um, because then I'll sell my card faster than them but you can also just do it as and you can also see how much you get there so if I'm not bothered about this five cents here I could just make it no that's too much money no um, no eight nine eleven 12, 13, 14, it's ridiculous now, 15. <clears throat> I can make it that and make it just even, but otherwise I'm losing out. So I'm, well, I'm losing out on five cents either way. So then I'll say, clack, oak, put up for sale. I say, okay. And now it's gonna go into the trade. So you know what, let's give me the key. Okay, so I'm gonna go on my phone and I'm going to screen record that as well. <laughs> Confirmations. Confirmations. So here you see I've got on my Steam card confirmations and this is now obviously if you set up Steam card onto your mobile phone which I recommend and I'll show you in a later video how to do that if you don't have so already. Confirm selection and there it is now on the market. So now we're back here. Okay. So now we're going to go to community market and we're going to see what happened now it hasn't changed it so it hasn't sold yet and there it's sitting with my other cards so i can just click on this one and then basically you can check okay so people are selling at that price and now this is now obviously the highest that i can but it's going to eventually if you're patient enough it will eventually sell at that although there is currently so many people selling it so it eventually will sell but you can always work it out you can see on this page here first and go see okay what are other people selling it for okay do you want to sell it at 93 or do you want to sell it at 1.03 and then yeah obviously you'll you know you'll, you'll make less but you don't want to wait forever so you'll play the market game by seeing how much is people selling it for and how much are people willing to buy for as well now when it comes to buying trading cards Buying trading cards is also a patient game. If you're not a very rushed person, you could take, man, you could take uh, left for dead. You'll click on the search here. You'll see some 
cause. Now those are foil cars, so they're not bad. Take the 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 smoke of the foil. Okay, so I'm just gonna middle click here to open a new window. Okay, so there is one being sold for that amount, and these are the buying prices people are selling them for, and less. Now, eventually, these people are gonna get desperate to sell to these people, and they're gonna lower it up. <coughs> As you can see here, it has been sold for. 2.02 and again this is in South African rands and it has sold for those high ones so you get your exceptional few that will just get rid of them as it's a it's a game it's very common you they are about to get drops so I'm going to just see what is the lowest and on average higher than that what else is one two okay so I see this guy's doing what I'm thinking so I want to buy, I will put there, nope, 2.55, and I'll say place order. Now, it's not going to tell me it's in my inventory in, in at the moment. What it's going to do is, and it doesn't have to be a four card, it's going to tell me, okay, my order has been placed. So it will then purchase at the closest mount that I've got. So here's my 2.55. But the person who has bidded higher is going to get it before me, this one. If they one sells it for that amount, he will get it at that amount. But if one sells it for 2.5, he's still going to get it because he's first in line. Because he's bidding higher. Now I'll get it second and such, unless somebody sells two, and you know. And so yeah. And there's my card. Now you can put a whole bunch of quantities. You can put a hundred of them, and maybe you'll get a couple of them. And then you can sell them with a profit. That's obviously time consuming, and there's a lot of play work on that. So you can make some money for yourself. You could like place the order, and then basically, and there's no limit to the order as far as I know. Um, we can try it here. Yeah. Oh, there's no limit un unless you do not have the funds in there to begin with you have to have the funds because if I say buy and I put there 100 it will not because that option is there I have to add funds I have to have the amount of funds to buy it if I put that much and I say yes and I place order I can because that way I have five rounds which is nothing so definitely can if you do that and let's say god forbid somebody actually sells you at so low price and you get a hundred sell it make some money buy other items buy more trading cards level up your steam account or buy weapons on csgo all of that okay so we're not going to do that and i'm going to cancel this one but yeah, so this is how you can buy and sell trading cards. And obviously this works with emotes, wallpapers. It's the exact same method. The only thing I suggest is that you stick with the market. You do not do through private messaging or anything like that. That is where scam artists are going to get you. And um, my cards don't sit in my account for long. They're pretty much in and out. So there you go. I recommend this especially with a game that the cards are too expensive you put them at a low price doesn't have to be too low that's unrealistic put it low enough that's reasonable and then I work your way on that it may take a week may take a month may take a few months I've had it with Warface it took me about I think four months to get all the cards in that method and to make a level five badge it's well worth saving the money even though it doesn't cost a fortune but it is well worth saving the money. But I'm going to leave you on to that. And I hope you enjoyed my video. Cool.